Bon dia. This is the start of quite a big adventure. So for the next eight days, I'm basically going to walk the length of Timor-Leste or from the north coast to the south coast. Now, obviously, I'm not on the north coast now because we've cheated slightly and avoided some uh, road walking and we've come out about half an hour south of Dili to Fatisi. And now we're going to walk um, on to Saloy to camp tonight and then we'll carry on through to Ramalau and Kablaki and Same and end up at Batano on the south coast in eight days time so uh, it's going to be an adventure hopefully you can uh, follow me along obviously i haven't just walked into the uh, bush by myself uh, for the next eight days we've got a bit of a crew here from uh, wonderful team at eco discovery and i'm walking this with my uh, partner as well so um eco discovery are probably about the only company in timor leste that's done this trek multiple times although they haven't done it since uh, before covid so this is now 2024 so um it's even interesting what has changed slightly demoralizing when you've been walking for a couple of hours and you can see where you started from so basically we left the road kind of behind me and then we went down to the river along the bottom of the riverbank and now up steeply into the hills of Mira. so the other side is Aleo and that river runs along the border between the two municipalities. Been a pretty relentless and steep um, climb uh, but we're getting some pretty good views here if i zoom in over here this is the uh Beloy waterfall so on the road to aleo basically the road kind of goes through the waterfall it's pretty cool um so i can see that from here and then i think we've got a bit more climbing to do and then hopefully we'll be along ridges for the rest of the day This is a uh, Uma Lulik, which is a Timorese traditional sacred house, and they have ceremonies here um, at the beginning of the kind of harvest season. It's a kind of animalistic, pre Catholic um, kind of form of worship. So, in the space of about three and a half kilometers, we've climbed over 700 meters, which is why it's been such hard work in the heat. Uh, but this is where we're stopping for lunch, which is quite a spectacular spot. We've got the Uma Lulik there, and there's this magnificent um, tree behind us giving us lots of shade. This is a new thing in Timor for me, which is hiking in the afternoon. So you always get up as early as you can and go first thing in the morning before it gets too hot. But um, it's not really an option when you can walk all day across the island. So um, luckily it is a bit cooler because we are higher up, but it's still quite warm. So it could be a bit of a long afternoon. Standard design houses that you see all around Timor, I think they're built for basically a kind of fixed price. And I've seen them in pretty much every municipality in the country. This is the campsite in Samalete where they used to start the hike in Camaro and then camp here for the night before heading on. So we started a bit further up the road and we're going to uh, camp at Saloy, which um, should be even nicer than this. now a thousand meters above sea level just in front of me there is mount tutulolo um, which we're not going to go up but it's kind of a follow the ridge line um, which we're going to head along i think there's four kind of summits we'll go past and then down into the um, basin of saloy summit of Mount Same Tali, which is about 1,043 metres above sea level, where they're building this new church.
there's a view that was worth the effort. So that is uh, Saloy Grac down below with the lagoon in the middle and there's lots of rice fields around it. It's quite um, different to the surrounding landscape and it's where we're going to spend the night camping. So a beautiful spot. This is where we're camping for the night in Saloy, beautiful spot. So we've basically walked pretty much the whole day, about 12 kilometers up a uh, thousand meters, which is definitely a record in Timor with the humidity. So it's quite um, a relief to finish the day. And today apparently was uh, one of the three hardest days along with um, Mount Kablaki and Mount Ramalo, which were coming up in a few days time. So one day down, seven more to go. One deer from beautiful Saloy, uh, so there's a lagoon there and some rice paddies and it's quite a different kind of landscape to uh, a lot of rest of Timor Leste, um, so it's quite a beautiful place to uh, camp the night. Other than the Timorese do love their music so much that they want to play it all night long, so three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, a bit of pumping music, so that wasn't ideal, but otherwise this is... Um, been a really good experience so far so today we're walking maybe 12 kilometers it's always a bit uncertain till we finish and so let's see how it goes today Five o'clock. We've been walking since eight o'clock this morning with an hour's break for lunch, so quite a big day. Covered over 15 kilometers up 740 meters and down 370 meters, so quite uh, a bit bigger than expected. Uh, but very scenic, very like Saloy this morning is beautiful with water lilies and going across the lagoon and then up into the hills along ridges, down into villages, up into villages, <laughs> up and down the hills. Um, so it's been a good day, very scenic, a little bit of rain, but. Um, that helped cool us down so uh, looking forward to getting camp set up and another day tomorrow day three walking across uh, Timor Leste uh, the wind picked up quite a lot overnight it feels very New Zealand now 1500 meters above sea level it's windy it's a bit cold it's ideal hiking conditions for me for the crew they've all got their beanies they've got their long pants on they've got their jumpers and sweaters on they're um, suffering a bit and we're heading out we'll be on about top of Mount Ramalau in uh, two days time which is uh, twice the height of where we are now so it's gonna get even colder but uh, it should be another interesting day wandering around the hills in the middle of Timor Leste
There's Mount Ramalau, the highest point in Timor-Leste, just under 3,000 meters high, and uh, tomorrow we'll be climbing to the top of it. Tardy from the summit of Mount Mobile, which is nearly 2,400 meters above sea level. So for any Kiwis watching this, Mount Taranaki is about 2,250 meters from memory above sea level. So I'm high the Mount Taranaki. There's definitely no snow around, and uh, but there's some amazing views. So we've got Ramalau, which we're going to get up tomorrow, and then just amazing scenery from walking around. Most of the day, mostly uphill, so it's nice to get to the top of the hill. Hopefully, we should be downhill from now on in. Day three, the biggest day so far, over a thousand meters up and about 14 kilometers along. Um, kept skirting along the border between, we went from a layer into a narrow and then over to a mirror and then back to, well, I don't know where we are, probably in a narrow because I can see um, Mount Ramalau behind, the highest point in Timor. So we'll go up that tomorrow. Um, but for today, we're going to camp down in this uh, more sheltered spot because it's pretty windy and uh, have a beautiful view of the mountains. On the uh, start of day four, not a very good night, unfortunately. I don't know if you can see, but half the uh, campsite has uh, got squashed in the night by the rain and the wind. It's absolutely very cold. I have to get up at three o'clock in the morning to try and reassemble the tent. Um, I managed to get out it up, but the other tent, which um, we kept all our stuff in, is uh, pretty squashed, as you can see. Half the uh, I think they managed to get three or four crew in that one surviving tent for the others. And then I think the others went up to the as a support vehicle, which was also full of stuff, but they managed to go up there and um, spend the night. So uh, not the best well, as experience, but the trouble is everything's wet. So they are like, well, like clothes are wet and um, every, yeah, everything's pretty much wet. So trying to lie in a damp sleeping bag all night wasn't ideal. So today we're all meant to be climbing up to uh, Ramalau, which is uh, covered in the clouds, uh, but that's not going to happen. Um, and then we're going to camp out at the summit, which I think also is not going to happen, given the tents didn't survive down here, and that's another 600 metres higher and even more windy than exposed. So um, we'll get booked, or well, hopefully booking a guest house in Hato Buluki, which is where um, people start for the Ramalau hike. So hopefully we can get there at some point today. It's about half an hour's drive, and then. Um, dry everything, get some rest, sort things out, and then figure out what we're going to do next, whether we're going to stick around here to try and go around Ramalau and do a bit more of the middle of it, or whether we just keep on with the itinerary down to uh, Botano on the south coast. Luckily, we've got a support vehicle at this point. If we had this situation at the top of Ramalau, we would have been pretty stuffed, but um, it's quite full of stuff, as you can see, and then we're going to go over to the guest house and do a bit of a shuttle run to make sure everybody gets back there safely. Made it to have to Baliku. As you can see, it's a little bit wet. Um, so I think we're going to have a bit of a rethink of the plan for the rest of the trip. Uh, but first things first is probably see if they've got a hot shower. would be good. And uh, get all this wet clothing and camping gear and everything dried out. This is a small amount of the uh, drying that is required. Um, we've got a whole bag of wet clothes still to come, uh, but there's no heating here, so I'm not sure how effective this is going to be. Day five hiking across Timor-Leste, although we didn't do a lot of hiking yesterday because we were holed up in uh, Hato 
Bollicott, um, because it was just raining all day, all that stuff was completely soaking wet, hadn't had a lot of sleep from the rough um, night before. So, um, but stuff is drying, the weather is clearing a little bit. So we're gonna go for a bit of a walk around the village this morning and explore and then figure out how we're gonna do the rest of the walk. I think what we'll probably do is the middle section around Ramalau and Mount Kablaki we'll need to um, skip for the moment because there's no views. And also particularly Kablaki is known to be quite, um, tough and potentially dangerous and so after it's been raining for i think it's been raining here now for five days straight uh, which apparently is unusual for this time of year this is early july but this year has been an el nino year so a lot of the rains have come later um so i think we're just a bit unlucky with the weather but hopefully we can continue with the rest of the track down to the south coast to batano <laughs> So tantalizing so there's Ramalau and the uh, summit is clear um, but the clouds do come and go and we've had a beautiful walk around the village this morning there's a beautiful church there's a beautiful uh, cemetery on top of the hill visited a um, Umalulik which they were restoring had a look at the market it's just wandered up to this shrine at the top of the hill um, so yeah beautiful place to walk around very glad we did that this morning and then maybe this afternoon we'll see where the, the weather's doing whether we can go to the summit or not been a real roller coaster with the weather but um, amazingly we actually are going to climb up Mount Ramelow now uh, there's blue skies it's a beautiful afternoon there's the entrance gate there and if I scroll around then that's where we're heading up so uh, a bit of a climb up should take two to three hours maybe we'll hang around for uh, sunset and then head back down Straight ahead is the route that we had planned to take, so in the distance, in the middle of the peaks that we went up a couple of days ago, there was a big cross on top of one of them, and then we walked along the ridge line and camped out to the right there, which is where we are now. Campsite flattened in the night, if that hadn't happened we would have continued along this ridge line and approached the summit from here, so that would have been quite spectacular, but pretty exposed and windswept.
day six. I'm kind of losing track of time now, but um, had a, another massive day yesterday going up Ramalau and exploring around the beautiful village of Hato Buluko. Um, so today we're walking from here to uh, Musika and then we'll continue on to Letifoho Same and down to Botano. So despite the, uh, the weather um, and a bit of delays, I think we should still be able to reach the uh, south coast by the end of our uh, trip. Uh, the only thing we'll probably miss out on is Mount Kablaki. Even at the best of times, it's a pretty sketchy and dangerous hike up and it has been raining here for the last five Five days or so so we're going to give that a miss but i'm very happy that we managed to get up ramalau last night that was pretty awesome to see the sunset from there and the weather's looking pretty good today in fact blue skies on ramalau this morning <laughs> So I'm looking at here Mount Kablaki, uh, which apparently means crazy mountain, which uh, looks apt. Uh, it looks quite ominous and it's renowned for being quite difficult and dangerous. So the original itinerary was to uh, go to the summit, but given the, uh, the weather recently, it's probably not a good idea. And there's looks like there'll be no views anyway. Home for tonight is another school that seemed to make popular camping spots. We'll just camp out underneath the terrace there, giving us a bit of shelter and a nice flat surface. End of day six, walking across Timor Leste, and uh, it was an excellent day. So lots of variety in terms of weather. We had sunshine, we had thick fog, um, luckily no rain, so that was ideal. Really uh, beautiful walking through the villages, lots of traditional Timorese um, houses to look at. Got Mount Kablaki there, which uh, is looking pretty good at the moment. I almost can see the summit. And then this afternoon, that waterfall, the uh, Dokumali waterfall is probably the best waterfall in Timor Leste. Just a spectacular setting and just a really quite wonderful to see. And now we're down at the campsite or by the side of the road, between the road and the uh, and a river. Uh, so we'll be camping near the river. Today was about 14 kilometers. And for the first time, normally we go up a thousand meters and down a few hundred meters. Today we went up a hundred meters and down a thousand meters. So that was quite nice for a change, although it's quite hard on the feet going down hill so much. But um, no, another excellent day uh, here in Timor Leste. Bon dia, day seven hiking across Timor Leste. Behind me here is the beautiful Mount Kablaki. May not be as high as Ramalau, but it's uh, a lot more dangerous apparently. Uh, <laughs> it's quite quite a lot of uh, steep exposed ridges to go along so I'm quite glad we're not actually doing that now but the weather's turned out perfect but we've got a big day today because we've got to get across to the other side of Kablaki so we'll go around it over to Leti Foho so it should be hopefully the last of the big days and then a couple of easy days to follow I'm feeling a bit exhausted the dogs had a bit of a uh, barking competition in the night and but it's quite good we need to get going because we camped out in this school uh, and school's about to start so we better get going now we're going to cheat slightly today because there's about three kilometers of road walking to start with and we haven't got a lot of time to uh, go a long way today so we're just going to drive down this kind of 3k and then we'll head up into the hills small delay as the uh 
kind of local truck which the um, rest of the crew are using to get to the along the road section. It has a flat tyre, so luckily we've just stopped at this uh, handy little place to get the tyre pumped up. Turns out that our car also has a flat tyre, so uh, maybe it would have been quicker to walk. Bit of a change of plan, I think uh, maybe just due to the timings to try and get us down to the south coast um, in the time we have available. So we're doing a lot much longer drive, probably a couple of hours down to Same, which would be nice to explore the town. And then we're going to walk from there down towards the south coast. So as you can see, the scenery around here on the drive is quite um, spectacular. And we've basically gone around uh, Mount Kablaki and heading down towards the coast. Because we lost today due to bad weather and um, we basically had to play catch up by driving down to Same. So we've driven around Mount Kablaki and now we're going to basically walk from Same down towards the coast, stop about halfway and then finish off in Botano tomorrow. I'm having a very team all day where the uh, plans change on a regular basis. This is definitely a adventure travel country you don't expect things necessarily to go according to uh, the original plan so today instead we're going to walk down to Botano now on the south coast so we'll basically complete the the trek today but then we missed a rather large section between where we stayed last night and Same so tomorrow we'll go back and do some of that on the way back to Dili and spend the night hopefully in Mosiga and get to see more of this beautiful mountain scenery. South Coast in the distance. Today is uh, one of those days where <laughs> things change quite a lot. I think we're on plan number six or something by now. So we, it was going to be too far to walk down to Botano today um, without doing a serious amount of road walking. And the thought of walking along the road for four or five hours wasn't very appealing. So instead, we've driven a little way down the road across the river. And now we're going to go for a walk around the rice fields. And then we'll probably have to drive down to South Coast, see that, and then come back to the National Park and have a look around there. So it's not, it's a little bit out of sequence, but I'll still have traveled from the the north to the south of Timor-Leste, mostly on foot. end of day seven which was a bit of a confusing day to be honest there was a few different changes of plan but we've made it now down to Botano Beach which is on the south coast of Timor-Leste so effectively we've gone from Dili on the north coast to Botano on the south coast and so there's a real sense of accomplishment for kind of crossing Timor-Leste it's a beautiful beautiful country it's been lots and lots of varieties so it's been great to see that um, but because of the weather and the plans, we're going to go back and do a bit more of the mountains tomorrow. So it's a slightly funny order, but um, it's been quite an amazing experience. Day eight hiking across Timor Leste. So we missed a few sections around Mount Kablaki on the way down due to bad weather. So we've now already been down to the south coast of Botano and then we'll basically come back to uh, finish off some of the sections that we didn't do before. As you can see, the scenery is quite spectacular and the weather is looking absolutely perfect for a day in the mountains. So looking forward to another excellent final day walking across Timor. Don't feel alone. Don't 
Don't scream so loud We are living in this cruel world Broken but strong Gotta move on You are not a beggary of life Equip my soul Find the real gold I'll fulfill what I started I'm not going to the summit of Kablaki, which is over there, but um, we're going to get pretty close to it in terms of altitude. Uh, we're going over the saddle, basically, we, we is climbing up the side of a quite steep mountain by holding onto grass and pulling up with their upper body strength. On a wet day, this would be impossible. On a dry day, it's pretty hard work and slippery. The views are beautiful, but um, it just feels a bit risky when you're just relying on some grass to stop yourself sliding down the hillside. But amazingly, there are some, uh, you quite see behind there, but there are some houses up here. We saw a couple of locals just bringing up their shopping to their home. End of day eight, walking across to more Leste, end of the adventure, and it certainly has been an adventure. Um, I've hiked now long hikes on five continents, and I think this is up there with one of the best hikes I've done. Incredible scenery and lots of variety, really interesting culture, lovely people, really good food, and just been a really amazing experience over this last kind of eight days or so. So I'm looking forward to a bit of a rest now, but I really, really highly recommend this as a, an incredible hike. So Eco Discovery, that's the uh, outfit I went with. There's not many uh, um, uh, providers that do this kind of thing in Timor Leste. I think the last time they ran this was in 2018. So I think I'm the first person to have done this trek in yeah nearly six years. But it's an amazing experience. So if you want to do something a bit like this, please reach out to them, and I'm sure they'll look after you well.